decorations and like a stage with the thrones and the wedding chairs and all this red velvet and urns of flowers. <laughs> it's amazing. Nice. Sound it makes you feel small. It does. <laughs> I like the feeling. Another thing to make you feel small. I like it. <laughs> It's massive, isn't it? You can look at pictures, but it doesn't do it justice. Does it? So, what is the size? Do you have any dimensions on this? Of the building or the rocket itself? The rocket. I think it's 365 feet. Thank you. The new Davidson Center for Space Exploration, which opened in February of 2008. It houses um, our restored Saturn V rocket and also a number of other artifacts from the space program. Behind me you'll see um, a plane, which is a mono-engine um, mono plane. This plane was built by a local family um, called the Quick family some time ago before the Wright brothers actually flew, although the family never patented the invention at that point. But we have the plane in our lobby, which was donated by the family to illustrate that there are only 60 years separating um, the development of that plane from man launching to the moon with the Saturn V rocket. So when you think about the difference in technology, and it was just a 60-year time gap, it really is quite an amazing story. It's never coming out. <laughs> no. I have it all on time lapse video. Yeah, we're standing out in Rocket Park, which is where we have all of our um, rockets on display. Right behind me is the B-1, the Saturn B-1 rocket, which is not the largest rocket on our property. The Saturn V is even larger, and that's kind of the, the highlight of the different rockets that we have outside.